What's going on, y'all? Lolly on the mic, aka Kendall, and uh, huh, welcome back to another awesome ass video, y'all. And today's topic, VR, one of the most innovating steps in gaming, but I feel as though it's real underrated, and you know it should not be given up on just yet. So, uh, let's get into it. So we're gonna show you some virtual reality today. You know, it's really hard to show people what it's like to be in virtual reality without having them try it for themselves. Step number one, be more open-minded. The first step in making VR more relevant is to be more open-minded. You know, talk about it more. You know, get people talking about it, let it fizzle in their mind a little bit. So the next time a big announcement comes out, there's always that one person that takes a gander. And now I understand everybody isn't gonna like VR and that's okay because you know, everything isn't for everyone. Step number two, gaming companies introducing their own VR headsets. So far, Sony is the only gaming company that owns a VR headset that's exclusive only to consoles. The problem is that it's only exclusive to the PS4. I think it would be dope for these other gaming companies to catch on this VR shit and show it off to more people who don't know about it or are kind of skeptical on it. Microsoft could finally make a use of their Kinect that they tried to sell people when the Xbox One first came out. Nintendo loves to be creative, so <laughs> who knows what kind of portable contraption they'll make for their fans. You know damn well that motherfucker's gonna be amiibo friendly. Step number three, make a universal headset. Y'all remember those old universal remotes that would come in handy whenever you lose your TV remote or those old AV composite cables that would have a plug for your PS2, Xbox, or GameCube? Okay, Grandpa, we'll be sure to keep that in mind. Okay, now think about it. What if they had a VR headset just like that? And I know this kind of contradicts step two, but what if those companies don't want to make that make a headset? Then this will be the next big step. I mean, the only thing to make this work is for Microsoft and Nintendo to pass this in and call it a day. When it comes to VR gameplay, that's all on the devs of that particular game. Step number four, put VR options in more mainstream games. Now I know this may seem kinda weird, but if done right and thought out, this could work like how I did earlier this year when Resident Evil 7 came out back in January. It wasn't 100% a VR game, but it had an option to use it in more games that have a big following shouldn't really consider doing this. But only some games, okay? As much as I love Overwatch, it would be kinda weird slash silly for it to have a VR option, you feel me? Step five so they can be used for co-op gameplay or a player two screen. Are you not a fan of screen peeking? Do you wish that there is just some way to fix that one little issue? Well, strap on a VR headset and catch that W, my friend. For those who don't know, if you own a PlayStation VR headset, you don't need a TV or a monitor to use it. And this had me thinking, this is a good way to introduce new ways to play co-op games in the future. One friend can use the TV screen while the other one uses the headset for another screen which could, which could eliminate some parts of the screen being taken over and the player could be aware at all times on what's going on coming in at them or whatever during game time. Step number six, putting analog sticks on the VR controllers. I've seen a couple VR games that have you move around to move further in the game and the way it works, you have to press a button which creates a little marker where you can teleport to specific spots for you to choose. This can get old slash annoying real quick and sometimes slow down the pace of the game. It would be way more convenient if they have like, you know, maybe like, you know, they have like a new controller with an analog stick on it and it kind of borrows from the DualShock 4 and the Oculus Rift controllers. The DualShock 4 controller is highly compatible with the VR and a controller with thumbsticks for movement and another for a camera for those, who, for those people who can't completely do a 360 degree spin with the headphones on and fear of you know, tripping over tangled cables. This would be really convenient and eliminate the teleport marker and continue the pace of those awesome first person shooter VR games. And y'all, that's it. I wanna thank you for watching my video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Links in the description to social media. And um, yeah, if you have any other steps you wanna put in the comment section, you know, leave them down below. I think VR really should, you know, stay relevant, y'all. Because, like, you know, from w watching the Paris Sony Week game conference and I saw all those VR games, I'm just thinking, like, yo, this would be fire. 
VR needs to stay relevant because these games look fucking awesome, and I think everybody should experience them all. All right, y'all. See y'all next video. Bye!